By the grace of God, you can see me and hear my voice today. I greet all our dear listeners and viewers all over the world in the name of the Lord Jesus. This is your servant, Nomovi Dojipo. Let me remind you that I am the leader of a prayer camp at Kobe Zion in Ngoche, Togo. And God is using us to speak to you and he has directed us this week to share with you messages under the topic what must I do to be saved. In discussing the topic what must I do to be saved, we will read today again from uh, the book of Acts chapter 10 verse 34 Acts chapter 10 verse 34 then Peter began to speak and now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism verse 35 but accepts from every nation the one who fears him and does what is right. Amen. You see, we will examine this portion of the scriptures as we continue looking at the topic, what must I do to be saved? There was a God-fearing man from Kaiser or from Italy who liked fasting and praying regularly but he didn't have Jesus. His name was Cornelius. How can a person know God, fast and pray and not have Jesus? It means that he had not confessed Jesus. His religion acknowledged God and he loved God and the Bible says that he was generous and gave generously to the poor. He was a leader in the army, a centurion, commanding about 100 men. He loved fasting. One day, while he was fasting, God was moved and sent an angel to him. The angel told him, Cornelius, your prayers come up before me. You are compassionate, but there is something missing in your life. You have to receive Jesus. The angel told, me, told him to send men to Joppa to bring back Peter, to preach to him so that his family and he can be saved. He feared God, loved fasting, and loved praying, but his religion didn't believe in God. As a result, he didn't believe in God. What must he do to have eternal life? He was dear to God, just as you, a viewer, a listener, you love God, but your religion does not believe in Jesus. But your salvation is important to God. The Bible says that he sent for Peter and he told him everything he had seen. Peter replied to him in verse 34, You know that from every nation God shows no favoritism, but he looks at the heart. God shows no favoritism means that this person was not a Jewish, but God loved him. So mother, he sent someone to preach the word of God for his salvation. That means that he has a pure heart, but he needed salvation. Just like you. You are good, but you lack faith in Jesus. You must confess Jesus for your salvation of your soul. The Bible said that on that day, when Peter preached in the house, Cornelius, his attendant and the family received the Holy Spirit and started speaking in tongues. While Peter was preaching, the Holy Spirit came upon them. We read from the Bible that Peter said, Surely no one can stand in the way of their being baptized with water. So they were baptized. He was from Italy, but through the grace of God, he received Jesus. Yes, you can see people who know God. They fast, they pray, but if they don't confess Jesus, they cannot be saved. Salvation is not dependent on religion, does not depend on any worldly person, nor a man of God, but our salvation is in Jesus Christ. Let me remind you, 
You need to do everything possible so that you and your entire family choose to belong to Jesus for your salvation. Stay blessed as you continue following me. Thank you. Goodbye.